for those of you that are not so familiar with uh, medical terminology and statistics and, and how things are described. I just wanted to give you a brief idea uh, of some of the things you can look out for as you're getting information to make sure that you're not uh, hearing something ridiculous from the conspiracy theorists or or from official sources that are trying to, to weigh things one way or the other. Uh, one of the big things is from or with. Uh, pay attention to those words and know that most people are not paying attention to those words. So when somebody ha is 18 years old and they have COVID-19 and they go skydiving and, and they would have been just fine with a COVID-19, but they go skydiving, forget their parachute and fall in splat, that report should say that the cause of death was blunt trauma caused by a, a, a fall. But in fact, that would be reported if the person had COVID. It could be reported as the person died of or from COVID-19. So that would not be a good statistic. And just so you know, many of the statistics you're hearing are similar to that. Uh, a person is getting to the age that they're going to they're gonna die because they're old. And uh, unfortunately, when we hit our, our 70s, 80s, 90s, and 100s, uh, that that typically happens with critters so far. It's been pretty consistent. And so if a person is, is going to die anyway soon, and just when some bug comes along, some flu, some virus, uh, some other issue, uh, that person then, uh, if they have COVID-19, in many reports, uh, it would be listed as the cause of death would be listed as COVID-19, uh, which is not in fact true. It was a causal factor. So the causal factors, uh, percentages can be applied to them. However, the reporting standards are not consistent. They're not, uh, they're not the same in, in my town of Jackson Hole. Uh, this community uh, has a different standard than New York, than Mississippi, than other places. Um, so if you have a medical examiner uh, that, that calls the cause of death, that is not using the same standards or the same words or the same uh, the, the same guidelines in reporting, the results will be very different. So pay attention to uh, somebody died with COVID and with yellow teeth and with gray hair and with a heart condition that was pre-existing and with diabetes and so on and so forth. Um, was that the causal factor or was it the, the parachuting <laughs> incident uh, with the, the forgotten parachute? Uh, so that is a, a big thing to watch out for, uh, and just know that there are a lot of a lot of things out there that are called facts that aren't in fact. Um, please know that anyone in the medical profession is getting ongoing training, and that we're getting updates. And the the challenge is that that the updates are coming from people that have an agenda, and that agenda could be. To make sure everybody's safe and sound, and it could also be to get more funding to uh, to justify the need for additional funding to get more equipment, uh, etc. So, please take everything with a grain of salt, and uh, I would say stay safe. But it's the same as any other day. Um, this too shall come and go, and uh, we'll, we'll be okay. Uh, Ninety-five, ninety-nine percent of us, something like that, will be okay. So take care of yourself. Um, be in good health.